What's up everyone, Katie here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today we have a string review. So something we don't do very often, but I'm happy to bring to the channel. We haven't really talked about strings since I did the college top five strings, I think that video was called. So now we're bringing it back to the string. So I'm really excited to talk about Grapple Snake Tour Sniper, which is a very uh, hot up and coming string based out of Germany and their thing that they're really advertising and promoting is quality, quality, quality. And I can tell you that this string is very, very good and is very high quality. Um, I had a lot of fun testing this string and I'm excited to tell you what I think about it. And before we get there, do not forget to like and subscribe. We are on our way to 10,000 subs. It would be very appreciated if you would subscribe, hit the bell, you know, like it, do all those things that you gotta do to keep informed about all the MP Tennis Tonic content. So thank you very much, and we'll jump into it now. So, Grapple Snake Tour Sniper. I also have a couple other um, Grapple Snake uh, strings that I'm gonna be testing out for you guys as well, but I really wanted to start with this Tour Sniper. This is a great string, guys. Um, I don't even know really where to start. I played a practice match with it yesterday. I strung it at my normal uh, tension 54-52. Um, and, it, and it was just really solid. Like, as you guys know, I play Selenko Confidential. Um, the, the first thing I noticed um, with this string wasn't even playing with it. I took it out of the package and I started stringing it. And for a polyester string, I know this has nothing to do with like actually playing with it yet, this was one of the easiest polys I've ever strung with. I don't know why, I don't know how. It's not really that soft either, like it's a little, there's, you can tell it's a, a tiny, tiny bit sharp, like it's not a complete um, smooth string, maybe like some other strings, like their M8 line, which I'll be getting to in another video. Um, but this, this was a super easy to string. And this sounds so bad and doesn't sound like I have a YouTube channel or know anything about tennis, but when I strung with this string and I did the crosses in the, like I finished it, it, it looks like perfect on the, like on the racket, like the squares in, of, inside the racket, like the pattern, they're all perfect. Sometimes when I'm stringing with other strings, like even my own confidential, it's not like that. So. I told my dad, like after I strung it, I was like, this is gonna be a good string. Like this is gonna be a great play test. And it was. So just so you guys know, like, by the way, thank you for Grapple Snake sending me this string. They're not paying me, nobody's paying me. I'm gonna give you guys an honest review. And it really was an excellent string. This is definitely up for a potential switch for me. I haven't even really got to the M8 and another, so the Game Changer, which I'll also be talking about as well, but this one is very, very excellent. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, even just stringing it, it was unique. Um, before I talk about like what it felt like, what does this string kind of compare to? It's kind of like an ALU power, but it doesn't feel so bad on my arm. Like I would play with ALU when I was a little bit younger. I had demos come in that I used ALU in and that string is, is kind of old and sometimes it's really hard on my elbow. It's hard on a lot of people's elbows. Um, and I just didn't really ever connect with that string. This string feels kind of like it, but is like another level, like on top. So. I never had any arm pain at all playing with this, and I believe it has similar properties, which is a very, very good thing. The tension maintenance on this is excellent. Like, I strung it yesterday, I played like three hours with it, and it I'm holding it in my hand right now, and it feels like it just took it off the stringer. So, that's amazing. Um, the control aspect of it, very, very good. Also, I feel like I was not, I wasn't like missing big balls or anything. Like I'm coming from Slingo Confidential, which is quite a controlled string already, but I feel like this is right in that realm. If you want some, want a poly that's gonna offer you a lot of control, I think it's gonna give it to you. But also this has a little bit of spice that the Confidential doesn't have. I feel like it's, 
it's adding some juice. Like for me, I feel like when I'm hitting it, it gives me a little extra like, not necessarily bite, but like I can really feel it come off the string bed. Like I, like it's it has a little extra spice when you're hitting it. Hard to explain, but I definitely feel like I'm getting something out of it. Like it's kind of rewarding when I hit the sweet spot. When I play with my confidential, I can kind of hit the sweet spot, hit outside of the sweet spot, and it kind of feels a little muted sometimes, which is not a bad thing. I don't mind that with my confidential. Um, but I could hit anywhere, you know, outside of the string bed or inside of the string bed with my confidential, and I wouldn't really know. With this racket, it made me, or sorry, with this racket, with this grapple snake tour sniper, I was able to tell when I made good contact a little bit more. When I didn't make good contact, it kind of felt not like a shank, but I could kind of feel it a little bit more. This is not a bad thing. I just felt like when I did make complete dead center contact, which most of us players should be doing, it feels excellent and it feels really, really good and makes a great sound also. The only thing that um, I had to get used to is the launch was much lower compared to my confidential. And this is the same gauge. I was able to get 16 gauge from them, which is my preferred gauge right now. And like I said, I strung it at the same tension, but I felt like I didn't get as much launch um, just on like a regular rally ball as I would my confidential, which is quite interesting because the shape and the texture of the strings I feel like are extremely similar. But yeah, on forehands, on backhands, on the groundies, felt really, really good. If, like Sometimes I love to just crush flat backhands if I have a little bit of time. This felt really solid, like really, really good. It's got a great feeling when it comes off the string bed, like I said. Um, and the other thing, the tension maintenance throughout the whole day yesterday was excellent. And I'm gonna probably continue to use it here for the next couple days. Um, the only thing I can't really tell you guys about right in this instant is the durability. It looks really good right now. Like, like I said, I played for almost three hours yesterday. And I mean, it, it looks, the, the, the durability in this moment looks quite good. I think I could probably get maybe nine hours uh, with this, considering I'm looking at it right now. And I played like a practice match yesterday and the, the playability was excellent and it looks like the durability will hold up too. So that's, that's really good when you have playability and durability working together with you. That can save you lots of money because a lot of these poly strings these days sometimes are breaking fast. On some touch shots or feel shots, it didn't let me down either. Like sometimes I feel like when I'm playing with certain strings or it's a different tension or whatever, when you play with your string bed, some things can get complicated on touch, slice, feel kind of shots. And I changed the string, right, from going confidential to tour sniper here. And I didn't actually feel like my volleys or touch was let down at all. The feel was great here. Um, I actually really enjoyed it on the backhand slice. Felt like I could knife it actually a little bit more than maybe my confidential. And uh, yeah, just really crispy. So. Nothing to knock really with, with the touch and feel here either. But anyway, a great control, control string if you really want to try it out. These guys are really trying to, to push it right now, Grapple Stink, and they're doing a great job. So like I said, they, uh, they have headquarters out of Germany and some, some things in the US there, and it's really high quality stuff, I can tell you that. So. Well done to Grap Grapple Snake. I'm excited to demo and share with you guys my opinion on the M8 and also Game Changer, which will be coming. And yeah, excellent string. I'm really considering switching to this one. Just gotta maybe give it a tiny bit more time, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, Tour Sniper. I mean, I've seen a lot of good things online about it. Um, and, and maybe if you guys have tried hybriding with it or, or something else. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Great string. Thank you, Grapple Snake, for sending it to me. But also, thank you for making a great string and, you know, pushing some of these other companies to do better because this is some high quality stuff. So thank you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.